Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail, and in this episode we take a tour of Ashland, Mount Carmel, and Locust Gap with Sal and Chuck. Chuck had so much fun on his Can-Am, part of me wished I had brought the ATV, but it was just a casual ride. I was still two or three weeks after a bruised rib injury, so I was taking it easy in the Honda, and it really was just a casual ride through Ashland North and the hills of Mount Carmel, and there's just a lot of new trails and some old trails that are blocked off. Most of Mount Carmel has been shut down and please do check the maps on famous Redding outdoors before you go riding there are some signs but not too many you'll see one and then all of a sudden it's uh, open trails and then you'll see that obviously it has been cut down and uh, really chopped up so we found some of our old mud holes and just uh, decided to play around a little bit and I was pretty much following these guys. They were having more fun on the ATVs than I was in the Honda. decided to take a ride over to Locust Gap and the weather was looking on and off. We had some sun and then all of a sudden we had clouds. So we decided to take a run over to probably everybody's favorite land tract. And we noticed there was some new trail entry way here. I guess people were just going straight up and it was getting all worn down. So they uh, did a little bit of dirt construction and made it a little bit easier for people to get up there or to prevent washout. Big thanks again to Sal for additional footage, and thanks to Chuck for the entertainment because he just loves the mud, and he just makes it look really good. There was a good amount of others out there that day, and I have to say, the weather pretty much held up until we were on our way back. We took a short break at lunch at Locust Gap, but before we knew it, we saw the clouds rolling in, and we decided to head back. And as we departed Locust Gap parking lot, I knew the direction they were taking. And of course, it was more fun trails, but they were a little tight for the Honda. And I always recall banging and knocking into some of the trees, so just had to take it a little easy behind Chuck and Sal as they drove through the narrower trails.
It's always fun and it's always a challenge and Locust Gap always has a bit more mud and water than everywhere else. It just pools and it's always there for you. It doesn't matter if it's a really hot day, but there's good shade and there's good mud to go riding through. forecast was pretty accurate because soon enough we were having a little bit of light rain and it just cooled things off a little bit. I think at least some of us had rain gear but it was just a casual ride so we weren't really decked out for a full day of all different weather types so a little wet and not a problem. overall just a great time to get out on the trails and visit a couple different locations. Next time we'll bring the Grizzly and be able to get in some of the deeper mud and have a good time. We'll be visiting some DCNR properties in the weeks ahead, so stay tuned. These will be geared towards ATVs and smaller rides, either Class 1 side-by-sides or just ATVs. So stay tuned and watch for those. We do appreciate you watching, and if this does help you, please subscribe to the channel and give us a like. Tell us what your favorite famous Reading Outdoors location is in the comments. Be sure to get to the Beaten Trail store for hats and shirts and so much more. Big thanks to our sponsors and partners. We appreciate having you on board. Get over to Lit Industries for 50% off while supplies last of Hex Billet Lights. Thanks again for Sal at Slaw Dog for additional video footage. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there on the trail. At some point in my life, I may trade it in for an R-Max 4. Nice. Well, I need room for shit. Yeah. Everybody's always saying, oh, you got so much shit. Just kidding. You can ride with Mike. Well, guess what? Mike's got a fucking drone and a fucking studio in his passenger seat. That, dude. My, uh, I'd like you to stand your pole up, sir. Would you like to put it up? I can, yeah. You were using both hands, so really... Okay, uh, let me give you a piece of advice. Get a pair of pliers on this one good turn.